Hey guys, welcome to day 190 of my carnivore journey. And yes, guys, I am back. I am going to do, I'm going to try to get back to daily updates. Okay. <laughs> so, but what I've decided is in the past, I know my hair, I just kind of popped on here. Uh, in the past, like if I had missed a day or something, I would like record and make sure to get that daily, you know, like what I ate, how I felt. I would make sure I got that recorded in there and then, you know, sort of backlog it. I think now if I happen to miss a day because of life, I'm just going to pick right back up the next day. I think that's fair, right? But other than that, I, I heard your guys' comments. Thank you all so much for all the love. And of course, um, you guys are great. And it seems as if everybody was kind of like, yeah, I like your dailies, but we'll do whatever's best for you. So I get it. I'm going to go back to doing the dailies and talk to you guys and <laughs> everything. Now, uh, my dog, he is out in the garage area. He loves being out there. I had him in here earlier, but he makes his way out there. And he was just out there howling like Huskies like to do every once in a while. He just ate a bunch of steak. Um <laughs> Unfortunately, my roommate's steak was a little tough. Um, I don't know why he had a chuck steak. I had a top sirloin and his came out a little tough, even though it, came, it was cooked medium. It was cooked medium, but it just was probably just not that great a cut of meat, apparently. I don't know. But um, either way, he just had a lot left. And I just had a few small pieces and I had some leftover chicken. So Drago is a happy boy. He is eating uh, carnivore for the last three days since he's been here. And I've already noticed he is not limping anymore or he doesn't have his weird back end issues already. So he's actually walking around like a real dog. So interesting. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, we'll, we'll keep him on carnivore as well. Uh, but as far as his name goes, Drago, it, it was literally after Rocky four, Right. Uh, we, you know, obviously being a Husky, a Siberian Husky, but we wanted like a Russian name. We thought it'd be cool. So, and of course, what's one of the cool Russian names? Of course, Drago from Rocky Four. Now, we also had a big stuffed uh, Husky, like a stuffed pet, not a real stuffed Husky. God, don't know. Don't think the bad thoughts like that. No, it was like a stuffed animal, right? Like a teddy bear kind of thing. But it was like a big old husky. And we named him Apollo. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're some Rocky fans. We were some Rocky fans, me and my, my ex-wife there. But uh, but no, Drago, that, that's what that's from, just to let you know. Pretty simple. Uh, but he's cool. I love him to death. And he's getting used to his new home. Um, he's getting a little more talkative. So, you know, not great, you know, but, um, you know, he, he's trying to communicate with me, but we'll, we'll hopefully get that on the wraps. Luckily we don't have anybody living upstairs yet. So that's good, but he's not making too much noise. He's, he's a good, he's a good dog. There is a freaking spider outside of my back door and it, and it likes to come out at night onto the little foundation part of the garage out there and this thing i'm not exaggerating it's got to be the you know this big around all together the body of it it looked like a tarantula when i stepped out there i just saw this big outline and it was like oh my god and i and i told my room i said like, come here look and he looked at it, he's like oh my god and i believe it's a wolf spider is what we determined it was but it's, I've never, like, honestly, as long as I've been in Tennessee, and now I'm used to big spiders, like, in Florida. Like, I lived in Florida for a long time, and I've seen, like, the big, you know, banana type, like, the tree spiders and stuff. I've seen some big spiders in my life. But in normally, like, in Tennessee or whatever, I've seen a lot of spiders and some pretty good size ones, but never, like, that big around. This thing's huge. And I went to get a picture of it, and it was gone. So... And then when I came home from work, it was hanging out there again. 
and then it ended up disappearing. So it's kind of creeping us out, but at the same time, as long as it's and and the, the the part where it's hanging out, the the garage part that like there's the garage that, that Drago's in, but there's a separate two car garage, like a separate building, and that's the building that the spider is hanging out at. So just to clarify, okay, Drago's not in any harm. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I had two hot dogs and steak. I am going to be making some eggs. I keep saying that so many times. I finally got a pot that I can make eggs. My instant pot crapped out of me like I was telling you guys. But now I finally got a pot. I'm going to make some hard-boiled eggs. I really want to get back to making um, a couple hard-boiled eggs and having steak. I'm really going toward a lion diet. I'm going to be going a lot toward a lion diet. I had steak with salt tonight, and it's so good. I'm telling you guys, if you can omit spices, you will start liking your steaks more and more and more when it's just steak and salt. It's, it's the weirdest thing. I'm telling you guys. Um, but, but I'm just being, I'm being serious. Like try it. Uh, let's see. And I, I did put a few pats of butter to melt on top of it, you know, when the steak was resting. So I melted a little bit of butter on top of it. Um, but anyways, but yeah, that's all I really had today felt pretty good um guys all carnivoreinfo.com i've been sending some people to it. i've been running into people out in public guys um i've i did i don't know if you have noticed if any of you guys have not gone there in a little bit i did go there um i did some work on it recently i know one of you guys was talking about the font size was really big so there's a majority of the website now where everything's a little smaller. So hopefully you guys will like that even better. Um, still looks the same. Just again, smaller font. I double rode some stuff. So I did do some reorganization, uploaded some more channels on there. Um, some more videos. Guys, I need more submissions of videos that you guys like. Whatever videos I don't have, submit those to me, please. Uh, I have gotten a um, shout out to those of you that have donated. Um, there is the, your name should be on the donation wall. I have not checked anything in the last 24 hours. So if you donated in the last 24 hours, um, I will get that on there for you. And if you don't see your name on there for some reason and you did donate, let me know. Send me an email, but I should have everything. So, um, in any case, but guys, all carnivoreinfo.com. Please use this as a resource. Send people there. This is where I'm I'm running into people a lot now here lately. And now that I've lost like that, what almost 70 pounds, I'm running into people and they're like, people I haven't seen in a long time. And they're like, hey, you're you're looking thin, thinner. They're like, hey, you're looking thinner. You know, I'm like, yeah. And, and they and I even ran into somebody today at the store and I was buying, I had like three steaks in my hand and they're like, they're like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm doing this. I'm just eating this. And they're like, really? And I talked to them for like 20 minutes in the store. And then I sent them to all info.com. So guys, it's a really good tool to where you can just send it. And I told them you can learn everything you need to learn. It's got, it's a collection of YouTube links and everything like supplies, everything you need there. There you go. But guys, make sure, and if you don't know about allcarnivoreinfo.com, go check it out. Go check it out and share it with your friends. This is how we win people's health. Because I'm starting to feel a lot like Carrie where I want to, like Home said how, I, like I want to heal humanity in that sense. Like I'm running into people, they're middle-aged, they're my age or older, and they're having problems or they're talking about their arthritis and, and all this other stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, it's like, if you just give me 90 days and you do this, I'm telling you, you will feel so much better and you're not going to want to stop. And they're like, really? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I am been kind of getting that kind of fever, but in any case, guys, it was so good talking with you guys again, love you all. And I'm so happy a lot of you came and made a bunch of comments and I felt the love again and I will come back daily and we'll do some more talking and I am going to do some cooking videos coming up with some recipes. But since I've been 
since I had this really massive change where I've been going toward the lion diet, it's like, I almost don't want to eat any other thing, any other th anything else. As far as how I feel, I still feel pretty good. Um, I don't know if I feel like I'm losing weight. I think this month since that last weigh in, I feel like I've stalled a little more, but I may hit a plateau. I don't know. I, who knows? But that's why I'm starting to tighten down now. I am still drinking my coffee with a splash of heavy cream, but I think I'm going to be getting away from a lot more of the cheese and stuff like that. Sour cream and like those type of ingredients. I don't know. We'll see. I'm again, I tried to, I tried not to stress about it this month, but then I, I do, <laughs> you know, it's one of those, like, I, I don't care. I'm just going to help out my roommate. And then all of a sudden I'm like, well, still, I don't want to gain weight. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to start back backtracking. So, um, but anyways, all right, guys, we will try to see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.